The idea that things are cheaper in the South, now a fantasy, at least here in Austin, Texas. The city has experienced some of the biggest rent increases in the country. The most recent data from Rent.com shows the average one bedroom in April cost nearly $3,000 a month, more than double the price of last year. Two bedrooms have also surged 50% higher. I just heard that my rent is going to go up $300 on renewal, and I think that's absurd. I'm trying to move in with three other guys now to make it a little cheaper. I moved down here thinking it would be cheaper compared to moving to Chicago or New York. Um, that was kind of the opposite. Soaring prices and the end of a COVID moratorium on evictions have helped push eviction rates back to pre-pandemic levels. Local officials are now zeroing in on the most vulnerable. The city council recently approved a guaranteed income program that will give 85 needy families at risk of losing their homes $1,000 a month for a year. No strings attached. Once someone is homeless, it costs a lot of money to get them off the streets. You need case management, you need housing, they're going to have health problems. If we can make the investment up front, I think that's money well spent. At least 28 U.S. cities, including Chicago, Pittsburgh, and Los Angeles, have tested similar guaranteed income schemes. And while critics argue the programs are an unnecessary handout that encourages people to drop out of the workforce, research shows the exact opposite. In the Stockton, California program, where 125 randomly selected citizens received $500 a month for two years, Full-time employment among recipients went up by 12 percentage points. These are, you know, working class families and they're spending it on um, paying down debt, uh, groceries, the sorts of things that you might expect somebody would do um, if they suddenly have a little bit of breathing room. That breathing room, says Steven Nunez, can have long lasting effects on physical and mental health, especially for children growing up in poverty. Providing aid to such families can mean that the child grows up to be healthier, to have a better educational sort of outcome, and to be more likely to, to have um, you know, a stable job that, um, that pays a decent wage. North Loop area. For basic income activists like Annie Flum, Austin's program is a small step towards addressing the gigantic racial wealth gap in America and a housing crisis that disproportionately affects minority groups. We don't want Austin to become a playground for billionaires. That's not what a healthy city is. A healthy city is a place where people can, you know, there's opportunities for folks along the spectrum of income, um, and there's opportunities for social mobility. The Austin program is no silver bullet. Experts say it also needs to be coupled with more affordable housing development and other support services. Austin's guaranteed income program is just a pilot. Data will be collected and shared, but there's no guarantee that the program will be renewed in a year's time, which could make it difficult to assess just how impactful it can really be in the long run. Tony Waterman, CGTN, Austin, Texas.